Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over how to use the Routine Builder. So you'll find the Routine right here in that tab, and it's called the Routine Builder. And so we just finished talking about the mind maps. And so I have two Routine Builders here, they're exactly the same, just different colors um, for you to play with. And so maybe over here in your mind map, let's go back to our example of wanting to lose weight. And one of the actions that you felt you needed to take was, um, the thing that I got, I'm working on right now, is to um, kind of do some bulk meal cooking on uh, maybe on the weekend, freeze the meals so that I'm grabbing healthy meals throughout the week when I don't have a whole lot of time. So one of the routines could be, okay, you know, uh, the goal is to get in the habit of making batch meals. So dedicating maybe Sunday to making one or two meals that um, I can divide up into four servings so that I have eight meals. And if I get in the habit of doing that, um, then I'll have a stockpile of meals going so that you know, throughout the month I really have a good stash of meals. So I can write ideas down so they might be um, ideas or research, um, some menus that I could use, uh, come up with a grocery list, you know, um, look at things, you know, look for reviews of things, you know, freezer foods. Um, one of the ideas was you know, research the different um, packaging that I could use. One of the ideas is I need to find room in my freezer that this is going to work in, or do I need to go to my parents and borrow their, they have a big stock freezer, you know, can I put it stuff in there? So these are just different ideas as I was coming up with, you know, I want these bulk meals so that I grab something healthy in the freezer. You know, I had different ideas. And then here, your routine builder is really, what's the strategy going to be? So it's going to be, you know, um, every, you know, I don't know, maybe every month I come up, I do a research session where I decide what the four or five meals are that I'm going to cook for the month. And then every Sunday I cook one of those meals and I freeze it. So I, you know, my strategy might not be that uh, elaborate. So I have a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I have a, a cache of meals. So maybe I have a menu that I've come up with that has maybe say five meals and I'm gonna make four portions of each one. So I have you know, a different meal for five days of the week. Um, and uh, you know, one weekend every, uh, one day on the weekend, so on Sunday, I'm going to make um, one of those meals and make it into four sections and freeze it. So your strategy is going to be the actual routine and you're gonna try out different things, which is one of the things I love about the digital planner is you can try something, erase it and start over because lots of times your routine doesn't stick. So maybe one of your routines is you want to have a less stressful morning. So your goal is a calm, soothing morning. And some of your ideas are, you know, I need to have my breakfast already figured out. Maybe um, some of your ideas are you need to um, kind of do some research, on, you know, maybe read a book on a particular, you know, The Miracle Morning is a great book about setting up a morning routine. Um, maybe you want to do some research, maybe you want to talk to some people. So you just kind of jot down some ideas and then you try this out. Okay, my strategy is I'm going to lay my clothes out the night before. Um, maybe I'm going to pack my lunch the night before. I'm going to have, uh, maybe you're going to do overnight oats. So you're going to have your, your breakfast prepped the night before. So you can come up with different strategies and then decide, okay, that was too much. Now I'm going to try something else and you keep trying it till you get to the routine that works for you. And then after you've done it enough times, it's a habit and you don't need to think about it anymore. So that's what these two pages are for, is really how to build a routine. They're just a different look um, for doing it, give you a little bit of a bigger idea box if you want here. Um, but it's again, just come up with how you're going to do this. So you come up with these mind maps. Well, it comes down to taking actions, right? So one of the things might be that you know, your routine is you want to get in the habit of meditating. You want to get in the habit of really studying your thoughts. Maybe you want to get in the habit of journaling your thoughts so that you don't have your thoughts run away because you see what happens. Your thoughts create your feelings, create your actions, create results. So it starts here. You really need to control these. So you may want to get in the habit of journaling every night. And so your ideas are you know, finding a good place to journal, finding the right notebook that you're really excited about, or finding a fun pen. And then your strategy is every night at a certain time you do you write some journal entries. Maybe one of your ideas is you want to find a guided journal so that you can write, you know, you really can focus on what your thoughts are for the day. Maybe you want to research some best questions to ask yourself every night. And then your strategy is to journal every night. So your strategy may be very, very simple. It's up to you. So that's how you use these pages. So you're going to kind of come up with what are some of the actions or the thoughts that you want to be in control of, and then start to build routines that help you achieve those, those, um, those goals. So that's it. Again, if you have any questions, you know, again, in the home tab, you'll find my email address. Feel free to reach out to me and I'll help you explain it better. Thanks. Bye.